Hey, what is up YouTube? BJ Dell back with another Procreate tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're gonna focus on using the selection tool, inverse selection, and then also the clear function. Uh, doing that, we're gonna come up with some really cool designs pretty quickly using images that we create using other apps on the iPad, as well as ones that you can get off the internet. So let's go ahead and roll into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing to say, if you guys have not watched the previous video that I did on how to add text to Procreate, make sure you watch that first before this video. Uh, I'm gonna be going over some things that were featured in that video that I'm not going to re-explain in this video, just for the sake of time and to keep the runtime down on this one. So, that being said, let's go ahead and hop in. First thing we're gonna do is go up to our wrench icon and hit that, that's our actions menu and we're going to insert a photo. I've already kind of done the legwork on this, so we're gonna go ahead and insert this, which is uh, United States of America, if I can get it to work here, uh, just text that I made in type of Rama. So just with it being August now, just you know, got done with the uh, 4th of July last month, figured this one is a quick one to, to focus on. So we've got the text here, looks kind of plain, black text. Um, one thing you can do to change the color is if you drag and drop your color from the menu up there down here, it will actually fill it in. And then you can also change other colors to where if you don't want the, uh, the whole thing to be the same color, this is how you would achieve that is just by individually dragging and dropping it in. Um, so that's one option to fill in the colors. Another option is using the select menu. So if we go up here to our layers menu, click on our text layer here, brings up the extended menu, and we're gonna select that layer. So all of this black text is now selected. If we hit our layer again and hit fill layer, that's gonna fill that entire layer all at once with the blue color that we have selected up here in our color picker. So that's the two different options of how to fill in, one using the drag and drop, one using the select. Now, another thing you can do, uh, something often used in t-shirt design, graphic design in general, is making blocks with the text inside. So we're going to do that now. If we go to the plus icon up here to add a new layer, we're gonna drop it behind our text. And then if you just drag and drop this here, that's gonna fill everything in with blue. So now our arrow here, if we select that, we're gonna transform this and drop it to where it's the size, basically of the, the United States of. So, that there, if we just hit one of the other buttons, that's gonna lock that in. Now. As it stands here, you basically have black text on top of this blue box. So if you have um, a black shirt, obviously it's gonna make America disappear, but it's gonna look good. Uh, but if you do a red shirt, what it's gonna do is change your background to red, but the text is still gonna be black. So depending on what color you select for your background color, it might not look the best. To make sure it looks good across all the colors that you could possibly go with, it's best to actually remove that text from the box color itself. So to do that, we're gonna go up to our layers menu again. We're going to select our text. And then on the box layer, we're going to open up the menu and we're gonna hit clear. So what this is gonna do is the initial selection of the text is going to be what is removed and cleared from that box. Now, it doesn't look like it did anything because that text is still there. And we still want the America down here as well. We just want to get rid of this United States of. So if we go to the menu here and the lasso, just that United States of. Go back up to our layers, make sure that we're on the text layer, and hit clear. 
what that's going to do is it's going to leave the America part here in black, but it's going to remove that black from the box. So now if we change our background color, that United States of is going to show the shirt color or that background color, no matter what color we use, which makes it look really good on, you know, any colors you choose. So uh, that's how to do that. Now, that's the selection tool. Let's talk about when you would use the inverse selection. So we're going to go ahead and clear these out for now. And we'll go back and make this white again. So I've got a map, we're gonna insert photo. I've got a map of the United States. I got this off of Pixabay. Uh, just make sure when you are using uh, different images off of the internet, uh, make sure that the copyright is free to use. Uh, even if it's on Pixabay, doesn't mean necessarily that somebody didn't upload it, that didn't have the copyright to it. So be super careful, but we're gonna change this one. Uh, so we have the, the map here. So the first thing I wanna do is Let's just fill it all in with black so it makes this easier to see. So we're going to go to our layer, click the extended menu, select this layer, and we're going to go ahead and whoops, select the layer, and then we're going to go ahead and fill layer. Now, the reason I did it like this and went to the select and fill is I'll show you. That's sometimes how you're gonna need to fill in. If you, there's so many different hue variances in this. If you use the drag and drop here, it's not actually gonna make it totally black. It's just gonna darken because there's so many different colors. Uh, so that's why we wanna go ahead on this example to go to that select and then fill layer to make sure everything's selected. So next step is let's go ahead and go back to insert a photo. And I've got a flag image that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and use this. We're going to drop that behind the map. We're going to make this the size of the map. So it's pretty much stretched out where it needs to be. Almost not perfect, but okay, there we go. So this is behind the map now. The idea here is to make the map actually the flag. It's gonna have the flag as the shape of the map. So to do that, what we need to do is go to our map layer. We will select the map layer. Now this brings up the extended options down here. We're gonna click this invert selection. Now this is the updated version of Procreate. Uh, if you're using an older one, they didn't have the labels down here, which made it kind of difficult. I think the uh, initial look of it was like a, a 90 degree angle here and a 90, de 90 degree angle here. It looked really weird, uh, but they've got them labeled now. So if you've got it updated, you'll see it. It's the middle one here. So click on this and invert selection and you'll see it will switch. I don't think you can really see it's actually, it's got some lines through here. Uh, but the actual background is what is selected. It's selecting anything that's not this black. So what we want to do then is remove that. So we're going to our flag layer. We're going to click the extended menu, and then we're going to hit clear. So what that does is it erases anything on that flag that is outside of this, and it's going to leave this. Of course, it's all black right now because that layer is still visible. So let's check off the, uh, the box for the visibility. And boom, there you go. Your uh, shape is now, of course it doesn't look good on white here, your shape is now the uh, the shape of the United States. So looks pretty awesome on a black because you've got the, the lines. Before with on white it wouldn't work uh, just because the, the white lines run directly into that background. But as you can see, easy way to add a, you know, a background image as the, uh, the actual shape. Uh, you can use this for text. Uh, if you have a, a texture, um, let's say you've got um, a water texture uh, and you want to make a, a shirt about staying cool in the pool or something like that, and uh, you want to use the word pool, you could do that and have your, your water texture behind and then inverse the uh, selection of the, the word pool and then remove that from the water texture and it's going to add a little bit more pop to your image and add that texture to it. All right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment if there's anything else that you want to see in an upcoming video. Uh, as far as me, I can be found online at 
BJ Dell on Twitter and Instagram, as well as my website, bjdell.com. Uh, until next time, keep creating.